Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa Queen, and in today's video, I have a highly requested video, and this is a lemon cake. I am making today a double lemon cake. Yes, guys, we're going to use lots of lemon in here, and as you can see, it goes with a very nice, cool whip frosting. It is so delicious, so lemony. So, to all the lemon lovers in the building, I have been getting a lot of requests to do more lemon cakes. So there you have it, friends. I also have, towards the end of the video, a sneak peek of our next upload that you definitely don't want to miss. So let's get started with making our cake. So these are the ingredients you would need for the cake. So let's get started. All right, as you guys know where to start off the show, I got my Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Lemon Supreme. You know I'm a lover of Duncan Hines box cake mixes. I think they taste really good, but you could go with any lemon box cake of your choice, all right? So on the back, it has the instructions, all right? It does request for a cup of water, but if you've been following any of my cakes, you know we're not doing that. So I'm adding one cup of heavy whipping cream. Yes, this is the choice that I went for because I want a very rich and moist and dense cake at the same time because it's going to have a frosting. So to that, I'm going to be adding four eggs. This is just an addition, additional egg to what the recipe asks for. So it's four eggs instead of three eggs at room temperature, very important. And then it does request for a third cup of vegetable oil. However, I will be substituting that with some butter and this is unsalted butter. So instead of one third, I'm going with two thirds of my Kerrygold unsalted butter. So let's start building up on those lemon flavors. I will be adding one pack and this is a 3.4 ounce pack of that instant jello lemon pudding. It is going to add a lot of richness and it's going to change the texture of this cake and add a lot of flavor to it. Okay. You also want to build up those lemon flavors by using natural flavoring. So I will be adding some freshly squeezed lemon juice. You can add one to two tablespoons of that. It's going to add a whole lot of flavor, you guys, believe me. So let's get started with the cake. And in the large bowl, you just want to empty out the box cake mix. I can already smell the flavors. What I'm doing here is just to break up the lumps. It actually has a lot of lumps. I would actually recommend that you run this through a sifter to get rid of all those big lumps. And then comes in my instant jello mix. Just empty out the whole 3.4 ounce pack of that. And then we will go ahead and blend that together just using our whisk and just incorporate everything together so that you don't have you know patches of pudding mix and patches of cake just sitting there now we're going to add in our wet ingredients i am starting off with the eggs and make sure like i always say that the eggs are at room temperature just just helps with the blending process you know the mixing process it makes it easier you don't tend to overbeat the eggs and also comes in our heavy whipping cream guys heavy whipping cream is such a great substitute when baking cakes i love it it works really well with a lot of recipes now comes in my butter my butter has been sitting a little bit so it has actually congealed a bit but yeah you want melted butter and definitely want it to get back to room temperature you do not want it warm or hot okay and then to bump up my flavor i am going in as usual with a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract vanilla and lemons blending perfectly now for more lemon flavor i am going in with some pure lemon extract i get mine from um walmart you can get it in most grocery stores these two pair perfectly in this recipe <laughs> so i made a whole lot of mess over there but hey we move okay so with my hand mixer i am going in and starting on low speed as usual i'm just following the box instructions in here so going on low speed for about 30 seconds and this is when i like to add my freshly squeezed lemon juice you can use one to two tablespoons if you're like me you really like lemon you can go with the whole two tablespoons it is gonna make a lot of difference okay so now i have bumped up my speed to medium high and i'm scraping the sides of the bowl as you can see to get all that dry mixture well incorporated into the wet ingredients and then you want to beat for about two minutes you're going to see that the batter is going to be really nice and fluffy it will be thick but it will be really fluffy like 
a cloud, like a thick cloud, if, if you get what I'm trying to say. And that's just because we use heavy whipping cream um, in this batter. We're gonna continue building up that lemon flavor and this is when comes in the zest. You wanna zest this batter at the very end. I use the zest of a whole lemon. So you want about a whole tablespoon of lemon zest. And guys, let me tell you, when this cake hits the oven, that zest, flavor, the smell, oh my goodness it smells so good it's gonna overpower your kitchen in a very nice way so yeah zest up that baby it is really good whenever you're making any type of cake that has to do with lemons oranges even carrot cake you want to zest it up it would make a whole lot of difference like i always say so at this point you do not want to mix again you simply want to fold it in okay we don't want to want this cake to lose its texture so we're just going to fold in the lemon zest gently okay and by this time your oven should have been preheated to 350 degrees fahrenheit because we are ready to bake this beautiful baby of ours all right so since i'm making more like a bar i am going to be using a 9 by 13 baking pan and i'm going in with a cooking spray and this i like because it does contain the flour so your cake is going to come out really nicely all right so just go ahead and pour in the batter into your 9 by 13 baking pan then you simply want to just go in and level it out you know just level it as much as you can no big deal it's going to be frosted anyway so just try to evenly distribute it and the reason for that is also because you want your cake to bake evenly okay so once you get that leveled out as much as you can go ahead and just stick it into the oven all right so we are baking today at 350 degrees fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes okay and the instructions does say 21 to 26 but mine took about 35 minutes and that's because of the extra ingredients that i did add in there okay so by the 30th minute mark you want to make sure you check on it okay and this is what it looks like you want to let it cool down completely and you will see that the edges have detached from the pan they have kind of moved away from the pan and that is exactly what we want to see it is completely fine moving on we're going to make our frosting and for that i will be adding one pack of the instant lemon pudding mix okay so do not follow the instructions on the back of the pudding mix just follow the instructions that i'm going to give you for that you would need some cold milk this is really cold milk i just got it out of the refrigerator i am using two percent but you can use whole milk if you want so you would only need a cup and half of cold milk So now we're gonna go ahead with a hand mixer again, and we wanna beat this until it forms a really nice thick pudding, okay? It is really important. It doesn't take a lot of time, you know? The milk is cold, so it's gonna help a lot to, for the pudding to form. So just beat it on medium to high speed until it forms a pudding like this. This is exactly what we wanna see, nice and thick, and it smells so good, all right? so. We're gonna go ahead and finish this off. You would need one eight ounce pack of Cool Whip. Now, if you decide to make your own whipped cream, then by all means, go ahead and do that. You would need eight ounces of the cream, okay? So I'm going with the extra creamy because I love the taste of it. I don't really think it makes a whole lot of difference, but I just like the thought that it just has extra cream. That's it. All right, so just empty out the whole eight ounce pack of the cool whip and what we want to do at this point is simply fold if you guys have watched my banana pudding recipe this is exactly what i do and the recipe is a no fail i will make sure that i link it in the description box below if you were interested in seeing my no bake banana pudding it is so delicious and it's always a thanksgiving staple for me and my family we love it it is one of those dishes that you can make the day before because it's best when it sits um, overnight all right so we're done folding the pudding and our cool whip and this is what it looks like really nice and fluffy and by this time our cake has already cooled down to room temperature you do not want to add this when the cake is still warm okay so once the cake gets back to room temperature and has cooled down completely you want to go ahead and frost the cake 
this amount of frosting works perfectly for this cake so you're not going to have any leftover so just go ahead and dump that in there and let me tell you guys do you have anybody in your house that likes to clean up your your spatula in your mixing bowl i am the cleaner i like to lick it all the time all right so just go ahead and frost it all over the cake try to make it as even as possible if you guys are enjoying this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really helps me out it helps me to know what kind of videos you like and also the video can get to more people who can also enjoy these amazing recipes okay so go ahead give it a thumbs up if this is your first time here you are absolutely welcome my name is mansa queen and on this channel my sole aim is to make cooking more enjoyable easier and less of a chore for most of you guys so this is what our cake looks like and i'm just going to finish topping it off by adding some sliced lemon and this is the finished product guys look at that oh boy this is by far i think my favorite lemon cake that frosting is so me i like anything fluffy anything cool whip i'm not so much of a butter person so i like those types of really airy and light frosting so here it is moment of truth you can see how easily that cake just slides out now i like to let this sit a little in the refrigerator that's just my preference okay but if you keep, want it you can just eat it as is i let it sit in the refrigerator and let everything sit for about uh, maybe 30 minutes before serving and this is what it looks like it tastes so divine that's zest like i told you guys it is a must have if there's anything you're going to leave out in this recipe do not leave out the lemon zest do not leave out the vanilla extract all right this is what it looks like taste test like i always say it was what divine all right thank you guys so much for watching as always i am taking suggestions you can always drop your video suggestions i am working on my thanksgiving and christmas playlist for all the recipes the typical you know holiday recipes both sweet and savory so drop your comments and also i want to give you guys a quick sneak peek of my next upload i am going to be showing you guys how i make my delicious homemade chili guys just look at that it speaks for itself all right thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video and until then y'all stay safe i love you all and do not forget to share this video with your friends and family give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one bye y'all